You see this ketchup packet here? Everybody hates these ketchup packets. They get over your hand, they suck. Now, we're gonna take a step up and we're gonna upgrade our ketchup consuming experience. This one is much better. You can dip it, you can squeeze it, that's great. But then ultimately, we're going to level up into the full bottle. That's right, we get the full bottle, thus we get the best user experience. User experience, the ketchup packet analogy. This is stupid, why? Because I'm not a foodie. You're probably not a foodie. You know, one of those food enthusiasts. Why the hell is it we talking about ketchup? You are a person who wants to design websites. So what the hell does UX, UI mean in relation to actual websites and apps? So somebody who builds user interfaces, UX is all about making things logical and easy to use. That's the most important thing, easy to use. I'm gonna show you some examples of good UX and bad UX, and these are things that you probably have experienced already when using other websites and apps. Now, I'm sure you've experienced this one. You're on mobile, typing in a password, and because you have pudgy fingers, you're not sure if you typed in the right password. A visibility icon is good UX because you can quickly determine if you've typed the right password. How about the all-annoying GDPR consent banners? Nobody enjoys this except for the Karens of the internet. Or what about websites that ask you to click a button to enter the website? Guess what? We already expressed interest by visiting your website by either typing in the URL or clicking on a link. Now, UI on the other hand is all about the aesthetics. It is the visuals. And it's the fun part because it's the thing that you have a lot of control over because you get to build stuff. So this means the colors, the topography, the alignment, the spacing, the visual hierarchy, these are all UI design foundational principles and that's what all goes into UI design. It is literally building the UI itself that people are able to see and interact with. And if you think about it, UI is actually a subset. It is a part of the umbrella term UX because if you've ever visited a website that just looks ugly, that affects your user experience. So you might be wondering, should I focus on the UI or should I focus on the UX? Well, you focus on both and you focus by building user interfaces, all right? So that means mainly you're gonna be acting as a UI designer and in the process of building UIs, you should always keep in the forefront of your mind is this easy to use? Is this easy to use? Does this make logical sense? Does it make sense to put this here versus there? Does it make sense to use this color versus that color? And what ends up happening is you tackle a lot of the UX considerations just as a matter of building out the UI. And that's why I'm a strong advocate as a UI UX educator to actually build things and also actually test things once they've been built. And so these are all considerations that you end up making and you become better at as you get more experience designing things and designing stuff. So don't get stuck in the abstract and all the terminology and the word salad that accompanies UX. Try to actually build stuff. And that's what this course is going to do for this 30 day little series. It's gonna help you build a lot of things. Unfortunately, there's nothing to build right now because this is a more conceptual topic, but starting here in the next video or two, we're gonna get our hands wet and dirty with a lot of actual UI design. And in doing so, you're going to automatically discover a lot of the UX principles just by designing stuff. So if there's anything that you remember about this video, it should be this. UI is about making stuff look good, and UX is about making that stuff easy to use. Cue the smoke geysers. That's it, okay. What's UI UX? What's UI UX? What's one about to answer in this video? Unbelievable. It's not I'm going to be watching your video. What? I said it's not I'm going to be watching your video. Why not? Because I don't watch your videos. Why not? Because I don't. Oh.